Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem eighteen in chapter twenty four. Chapter twenty four is about capacitors, Dow Electric's electric energy of storage. So there you can see we have a large metal sheet of synchronous L is placed parallel to plants of parallel plant capacitors, right? This is a um, capacitors. This is a metal sheet, and the length is L. So we can consider this region as L. And this region as L, so the rest region must be D minus L minus L, right? Yes. Now, ask you what now is the capacitance? As our work, we can see the capacitance should be the total charge over the potential, right? And the potential there we need to take care. The potential we can see between these two plants is V. We write it there. And it can equal to the V1 plus V2. Agree? And uh, there is no potential difference between the mental uh, sheets. This is a conductor, right? Now, how can you write V1? We can use electrical field length times the distance L for V1, right? And we can also use the electric field length times the distance D minus A X minus L for V2. Agree? Now, how can you find the electric field dense in these two regions? As we know, this is a charged sheet, right? Charged plant. So this is the equation we learned in previous chapters. We just use the surface density over the epsilon naught, a constant epsilon naught. And the surface density can write as the total charge over the area A. So we get the electric field dense in this function. Now you can see as we talk about the potential, the total potential V equals V1 plus V2. So the V in the left hand side can be write as a Q over C. Agree? Q over C. And the right side V1, so we just write as EX, V2 as E times the D minus X minus L. Agree? Yes, so this function can simplify as this one. Now we input the E inside, you can see Q and Q can cancel. So we get a function for C, capacitance. Mm -hmm. The second one asks you if L equal to 0 0.4D, by what fact factor does the capacitance change when the sheet is inserted? So now how it changes the ratios, right? The factor it changes. So that means we need to use the final capacitance over the initial capacitance, right? So we can see the final capacitance, we can use epsilon naught times A and over D minus L, right? In this case, L is 0 0.4 D, right? So you put it inside, we get the term look like this one. And initially, there is no mental sheet, so the L just equal to zero. So we can get the initial capacitance there. Now we use a final capacitance over initial capacitance, we get a factor there. Thank you.